Go ahead. <laughs> this is Derek Darling at Welcome at Training Center. We're going to go over a transition from a spinning juji into a uh, kickover bit arm lock, also known as an omoplata. So the idea here is I'm going to play off of the control points that I have from our spinning juji, where normally I would catch hold of the arm, I would get a deep underhook on the leg, catch the head, sit up, and then come back into the straight arm lock. I'm going to attack the opposite arm with some of the same tells. So it'll look a little bit like just a, a spinning version of the omoplata, but I'm actually starting with the juji gatami setup and then switching to the other arm in midstream. And normally that happens because as soon as I do this, he sits back and he pulls his hand free. So what I'm gonna do then, more to the point, I can actually really key off that and not even wait for the reaction. I just know from his body position it's not going to work. So the keys here really are get some good control of his wrist just like you'd be going at the, for after the juji because of course you probably want that primarily. The second key is make sure that we get a good deep underhook here again just like you would for your juji because now what I'm going to be able to do stomp and sit up. It also will help if he sees the omoplata and he starts rolling. I got a hold of that leg, he's not going anywhere. No roll. Finally, to be really tricky, if he goes ahead and he grabs his hands together or he blocks the inside of the thigh to, to stop the omoplata, so we're through here, he's blocking in there. I'm gonna actually use this hook to drive my knee down and attack his leg. And you can, of course, also go after heel hooks from there as well. So that's a uh, omoplata transition from a spinning juji with a little bit of leg locks thrown on just for good measure.